And now welcome to the studio where we're going to give you a little bit of instruction on how to modify the little Belkin TuneCast transmitter. Because when these are supplied, they just barely transmit to your car radio and no more for transmitting your uh, MP3 or phone onto your car radio. So this is how you increase its range. Now, I have to stress here that this is an unauthorised modification. So you're not really supposed to do this, but here's what you do. First of all, we'll open it up, take the back off, and we take the batteries out. With the batteries out, you'll see a little screw here which is possibly covered over by a label when you buy this new, a quality control label. You just peel the label off and there is a little screw. So we'll take that screw out. Once the screw is out, you can prise the two halves of the case apart. Now you'll see there are a couple of uh, little clips either side of the power socket. There's one there, and there's one there. If you can use both your thumbnails to get right where these clips are and press them slightly while prising the case apart, it will come apart. And we open it up. And now it shows us the PCB, but we've actually to take that out, so you'll see another little screw there. So we have to take that screw out. So we've taken that little screw out, and that now lets us separate the PCB from the rest of the case. And we're going to be working on the other side of this, so we have to turn this over. And we'll try and get a close-up of what you have to do here. Now there are two ways you can actually do this. One is easier than the other. I did it the difficult way, <laughs> but it works quite well. First of all, what you need to do is cut yourself an antenna, just normal wire, single-strand wire, which we have here. And the ideal length for this is... 65 centimeters. Now what you've got to do with the wire is you have a choice. You will see, once you've opened your unit up, the blue wire that feeds into the cable that goes to the jack plug. There's a blue wire which is soldered onto this point here. And you can just see it actually says ANT for antenna. So what you can actually do is get your 65 centimeter cable and solder it to that point. I think it would probably be better if you took the blue one off first then solder your wire onto there. So in actual fact, you're replacing the tiny little flimsy little antenna that they use for your tuned length of cable. And that will improve the output vastly. But what I did, I did it the, uh, the other way. I've left that wire in. And what I did was, round about this area here, you will see a black component. That is actually the attenuator which reduces the RF output of the unit. So you can cut the attenuator out. I think I actually, if I remember rightly, I think I just snipped it out, got rid of it, and then you solder your antenna to that point where the attenuator used to be. So that's the point furthest away from the connections where the cable comes in for the audio and the, and the old antenna. The furthest point away from that, that's the nearest point, but that's the furthest point. Solder your antenna to that and you can actually feed it through the uh, casing. You can actually take it through the... Yeah, here we are. You can feed it through the bit where the the cable fits into. That's what I did. There is a slot there you can put it through. 
can't remember if I had to make the slot bigger or not. It's quite a while since I've done this. I've done two of these, both the same way, and they both work very well. So that's about it. I hope that's been a, a bit of help. Uh, we'll put it all back together again and hope it still works. <laughs> Bye for now.